Welcome back to the PM Podcast. I'm Aaron, this is Braxton. Hey! And welcome back to part two of last week's podcast. We're talking about the transgender community. This week we're getting into religion. We're going to talk about um, the ideals of God, Christianity. Um, is there more than faith. one God? Faith in, in, in general? A little bit of everything, really. Um, encapsulating religion and then kind of tying it all into last week's episode. So... Mm-hmm. Um, there were some things said, so if you get offended easily, uh, don't watch or don't listen because we do have individual ideals and opinions, and as long as you're willing to hear and respect what they have, what we all have to say, you'll be just fine. So uh, without further ado, enjoy the podcast. For me, it's like right. I'm not going to – if you were born a certain way, fuck it. I don't care. It, it is what it is. You're still a human being. Yeah. If we have a connection and a relationship, cool. I don't, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So it's, and like, yes, I get that like religion plays a big aspect for you mm. and you're, and you're, well, and, and you've been always kind of like that, but the religion plays a bigger aspect for you now because it's, your ideals are backed by your religion. So it's, you're a little more firm in the way you think and believe. Um, whether that's right or wrong, I can't say that because it's faith and what you believe. So I can't, I can't tell you that you're wrong. And, I but can. I can tell you. you <laughs> well, you can, but it, 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 to, you can tell him he's wrong all day. But he still believes what he believes, yeah. and you can't disprove what he believes. You believe you you believe something by faith. Absolutely. So it's like you can't disprove his faith. So it's like <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, I'm just, so it's so like that's crazy. Uh, but he also can't disprove what like you. Everybody can tell. Everybody has opinions. Everybody has a way of life. Yeah. But no one can sit there and you can't tell me that I'm, you can't tell me that I'm wrong all you want. But that doesn't mean I have to listen to it or believe yeah. it. Like I can respect your opinion, what you say, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna believe what I want to believe. And right. as and long as we have that respectful conversation, I think once that conversation starts and you ask like, "Why do you believe that?" Yeah, that's where I start to. Well, it's because of religion, or if it's because of the way that I was raised, or if it's because of the w- things that I've done and been through that then that's a different perspective but i think religion is a whole nother that's that's something the way that i think about it religion right i i, I feel like i'm religious oh yeah no 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 but <laughs> here we like, go. i feel like it, no i'm kidding no, i'm just right. like here's the roller coaster no, yeah, here we go no, here it is so like <laughs> religion the way that i the my personal view is that i pray to a god every night that i believe in right that's faith Right. Yeah. The God that I pray to isn't the exact God that you read in the Bibles because I don't believe in most of the stuff that comes throughout that Bible. Mm-hmm. But I would also like to think that there's so many different religions out there. So I take on that perspective like, hey, if there is this almighty person, he's not just a person, he's the person. So you're kind of like me. You're hopefully ag- you're hopefully agnostic. Yes. So you, you, you hope that there's something bigger and better. You don't know exactly what, who, where, or why, but you believe that there's something, and that's what you pray to. So this is what I've always asked myself. Okay. Are you – maybe this might be personal. Are you are you close with your family? Yeah. Blake, are oh, you yeah. close with your family? Yeah. What if – I'm very close with my family, and then – but what, what if I die, right? And I don't see my parents. Where are they? They're not in heaven. So there's only one other place that they would be. Right. I'm going to have problems, right, with the person that made that call, right? Yeah, of course. And so that's where I like to think. I don't think everybody's perfect, and I don't think that everybody makes the right decisions. And there's supposedly only one other person that's walked this earth that's made every right decision, if that dude would have had an iPhone, I would like to think that his decisions would have been a little tougher. But that being said, I how can I pray to somebody that would throw away something like that? That being said, like how can I how could you pray to somebody that would knowingly turn down somebody? Well, I'm gay. Well, nope, you can't walk into this kingdom. Really? But that's my best friend that you just told no, and is the, one of the most beautiful people ever. And you can't because of 
one decision. Well, and actually, so oh, we're gonna we're going here. Oh, we don't have to. Shit. We can leave it up. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're going here. I, I, so and Blake. No, the only reason I say that is because Blake's gonna have something to say about it. And well, and good, I, so. I guess maybe that's why I wanted to know. I guess it's a different perspective that I've never been able to understand. I guess. So did you know that in the Bible that there is no mention of homosexuality being a sin? Right. At all. No mention of it. Mm -hmm. But the church says otherwise. The church says otherwise based right. on one Bible verse mm -hmm. in the in most of the newer versions of the Bible, except the King James Version, um, where it says, a man shall not lay with another man. Well, that's actually translated incorrectly. Because if you go back to the Martin Luther King version of the Bible, mm -hmm. which was written in German, the mm -hmm. word man lie with man means boy. So that passage is talking about pedophilia, not homosexuality. And you can scroll through the, and it, and it goes back into Latin and, and uh, Hebrew. Like you can trace those three. It means boy. It's not man with man. It's man with boy. Right. Saying no pedophilia. And you can look those up in all three of those languages. And that's exactly what I'm trying to translate to. Um, and then you can, you can scour the whole Bible and you will never find anything about homosexuality. Whether or not it was not a thing at the time, mm -hmm. um, but the and my well, stance on it is God, uh, the Christian version of God, is omnipotent. He knows everything. He mm -hmm. knows what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So if he was against it, he would write it. Right, so or have if, it he written. Was, if he already knew that they weren't even going to have the capability of getting into his kingdom, why did he even create them? Right, because he wouldn't. And right. so that's so my I feel like, question to you. Right. Everybody has a chance. Is Yeah, is where did your – because transgenders aren't even in the Bible either. Like, like there's nothing that mentions homosexuality, transgenders – because it didn't exist at the time that the Bible was written. Mm. And the Bible has passed, been passed down through stories and story over generations. Now it's the most accurate stories of any religion ever. I mean, that, that, all those parables have been carried down from generation to generation to generation to generation, mm. cons con ugh, conscribed of multiple scrolls and, and books, all compiled together into one book. Um, that was related, translated from Hebrew um, to German, right? And then German to French and all that. So, but and the thing about the Bible, the, the thing that I have an issue with in the Bible is that it's been translated at least three times before we have the English version of the Bible. Mm. Well, if you go from Hebrew to German, there are some words that don't translate from Hebrew to German. There's just not. So you ha the, the, German, the German language, you had to find a word that fit closest mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. And then when you go from German to French or Spanish or whatever, there, once again, you run into the same issue. There's some words that don't translate 100%. Um, there's words in German that they I... They take oh, out of context, right? It's, 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 a, it's a different, different context. Yeah, because they don't... They're, there's not an exact way sure. to describe what that is, sure. so they just use that word. And then English. Well, then when the English got a hold of it, great, it was an English Bible. People could read it that, were, that were spoke English. Fantastic. But when King James got a hold of it, he actually started stripping out chapters to fit on along with his political regime. Exactly. So the Bible that we know and have today, the NIV, the NEI, everything but the King James Version, which is... is the King James Version is, is the most accurate version of the Bible today. Mm -hmm. Everything else has been translated at least eight times and has different context. So, which is why I'm hopefully agnostic, because it doesn't make sense. Because God in the, in the Christian Bible says that he is all-knowing and, all, and all, he's, he knows everything. Right. Well, if you knew everything, then why is why did you let your book be tampered with? Why did you let a political corrupter who was a fucking horrible human being rip out por portions of your Bible and then lost forever? 
Are we getting sidetracked here? Wait, no. Yeah, so the, the, we're gonna get, go. We're gonna go point. back to yeah. it. But the the question that I had yeah. f- for Blake is, is w- when you have that that conversation w- where you say you believe based on your beliefs that it's wrong. Where have you read or seen where it has been talked that it's wrong? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. You're trying to find a viewpoint. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to d- diminish anything at all. I'm just genuinely curious. If I was always told everything that my professor says and tells me is true, like a pastor tells his sermon is true, then I would never be the person I am today because I always question my professor. Like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, there's other ways to do this. You this should math equation, or there's it, different things in history that have actually happened that you're teaching me that's not true i'll use an actual passage it's if you if you follow something blindly it's like a sheep to slaughter yeah which that's in the bible the bible the bible encourages you to ask questions right so okay. and that was my question to you is if you haven't because i don't <laughs> you said you haven't read a whole lot of the bible so nope. where are you, are you getting it from your pastors and, and people that are just saying it's wrong? Or are you finding this passage these passages over time for yourself and looking them up? Like, where is this information coming from? Both. Okay. I take everything, I take everything mm. I've learned because okay. I went to Anderson University, which is a Christian college. Right. I, had, I was forced to take a Bible class. Yeah. Now, granted, I, at that time, I was, I was not big in my faith. There's a huge difference between religion and faith. Oh, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Right. That's another story. I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff. But to be very, very transparent with the question you're asking. Sure. Yeah. Okay. With that, God loves everybody. Sure. No Does matter. He? Yes. No matter what it is that he's... So let me explain before yeah. you question that. No, so, I didn't. I was just I was just going. Yeah, he loves everybody. Mm-hmm. He loves so everybody. God, God loves everybody, mm-hmm. and the reason I say that is God allowed us from the very beginning to make our own choices. Mm-hmm. Right. In that sense, just because we choose something that's quote unquote wrong or um, not in the way He wants, like. He's it's, a very for, hold on. Right, sorry. He's he's a very forgiving God. Sure. Like when it comes down to it, he's very forgiving. The difference between someone kind of like the uh, kind of like the oh crap, what is it? The uh, example you gave. Mm. Okay, kind of like the example you gave. Yeah. Let's say for instance that, and I'm I'm not going to get str- way deep into it because sure. for one. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know every little thing about the Bible. Sure, sure. Okay. Neither do I. I absolutely uh, don't. don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't like, yeah. but, no, just so everybody's clear. But here's from my understanding mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to say I know it all because I'm I'm a student. Mm-hmm. Okay. When it comes down to it, I'm a student of life. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. I'm a student of my faith, mm-hmm. and I'm learning more and more every single day. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to sit here and criticize people. I'm going to love on people no matter what. Will I agree with everything they do? Heck no. (laughs) Okay? Let's just get that straight. But to go with your uh, example, Mm. you have a friend that's gay. Yeah. And you go He's walking up to the gates. Okay. And you go up and you're able to get in, but you just said, hey, because you're gay, you can't go. Yep. Okay? There's a lot more to that if that's the case. If that's the case. Heard. If he's going to be uh, cast out because he's gay, there's more to it. In the sense of, Fair. okay, you never, you never tried to have a relationship with me. Okay, I'm God for a second. Sure. You've never tried to have a relationship with sure. me. I see that part you, perspective. You've never tried to reach out to yeah. me. Fair. You've never tried to you know, actually Acknowledge. seek my forgiveness. Sure. You've never tried. And I'm not saying seek forgiveness in the sense of, hey, I chose to be gay. Please forgive me. Right, I'm saying like, I just I just went and had sex with this person out of marriage, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mistake. Okay, we've all made them. Yeah. The difference is, are you gonna under realize the mistake you've made, mm-hmm. 
and repent to it. Okay. There's a there's a huge difference. Absolutely. Sure. And they talk about in the Bible it talks about if you repent, God will forgive. Absolutely. If you open your heart to him and allow him to come in, mm-hmm. he will forgive. Mm-hmm. All he wants is a relationship with you guys. Like that that's all he wants. Sure. If and that's where it comes down to um with whole religion against faith. Mm. I don't believe someone needs to be religious or talked about being religious right. and go to church every day. Well, okay, so I guess I get what you're saying, and I actually understand your point. So um, with that whole repentance thing, so if you repent, is that just like like the Catholic version? Like, all right, you're good to go, and then go sleep with somebody else again? you got to learn from it. But right. If you're, if you're gonna, if you're just gonna be like, all right, well, I don't feel good about sleeping with this person. I'm just gonna go say, hey, forgive me, cool, and just walk off like that. You have to actually try to do better. You got, you got yeah. to do better in life. But if being gay is a sin in your eyes, then and they're still living in sin. But that's that's the whole thing. Is if 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 okay, if the Bible is right. If if God is right, yep. we're we're kind of going down the religious path, but it's fine. It's, if, it, if the Bible is right and everything, about no one's it, getting it, in. Then 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 I give up. I I don't I don't follow God. I don't. Well, I no don't one's getting in it. it. Right. No it, one's getting it. Like I, as soon as I I mentioned the comment earlier, like what if I prayed to Buddha or Ali or you know any of these uh, other Ali. Yeah, Allah. Muhammad Ali? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Um, it doesn't so, matter according to, out, according to the Bible. Oops, maybe this is a conver- conversation because I guess we are going down the rabbit hole, but kind of it, you know, like I mentioned, like, even if I saw my father, like my father, you know, my father is the epitome of what I would like to be in my life. And if God tells him, no, I'm going to tell him no. Right. Like, well, I'm going to go where he goes because wherever he goes, that's where I want to be. Because of people like him, like my father. Yeah. Or example, um, like if I pray to Buddha once, according to the Bible, I'm burning in a pool of fire forever. Yeah, because it's it's your and it's like you're you praying, me? You're you praying to a me, false god, right? You you can't even let me try, right? You can't even let me experience that, and that's where I and it, maybe me and you agree as far as like. I think that there is something out there. I think that there is something more powerful out there than us, right? Not I, aliens. I, not, I believe there's a God. I think there's some spiritual out there. I, I, well, because what, what is a God, right? What, if, you're, if you're breaking it down, what is a God? A God is someone who's all-powerful who go like that and make, it, and make you d- disappear. Like, if, if he didn't want Blake to be here, if, if God could make the heavens and the earth, he could literally just go, gone, Blake's gone. So it's like... I think that if there's someone that's that powerful, we would classify as God. Right. I don't think he cares as much as he makes us I don't think either. he cares. I don't either. Is that? And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, hey, Braxton, I saw that you, not only did you have sex with, the, you know, a gay person, a trans person, and not only did you pray to Allah and Muhammad and Buddha and all these other people, and not only did you do these sins, I see that you're a good person and that's the kind of people that I want in my life or in my kingdom. That's who I pray to. I, th- I don't well, pray to. I don't. I don't want to say that, but I don't pray to Jesus Christ. You don't pray. You don't pray to the Christian version I don't pray of to God. Any named character, because I think that according my faith is that if I pray to somebody, and it has to do with like a greater power over greater things, yeah. right? That's who I want to be with. Well, and so I kind of view it as like, okay, this is this my thought process. Mm. Let's say that you're God. Put yourself, you, you both put yourself in that kind of situation. Like, I know it's but, kind of hard, but put yourself in that mentality. Oh, you, are, you are God. I wake up like that every morning. <laughs> so you are God. Hey. And um, you're all powerful. Yeah. And you have, you are the universe. You were yep. the beginning and the end, mm. right? You know what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Mm. And you have everything you could ever want. Yep. And no one to share it with. Exactly. So you create man in your own image mm-hmm. to 
have some something that you created that will look up to you. Sure. Because like you a, need have a kid. Because you need that gratification. A kid with a parent. Now in the Bible it doesn't say that, guys, it just doesn't need it, but it's more like one of those things where it's like if you're that powerful and you're alone, it's like make something. Do something. Have somebody but I but I don't think the God that we the Christian version of the God mm. I don't think that he cares and I'm not saying he didn't care about us. Just I don't think he cares as much as we are led to believe. Because I, I don't know. Would, I, you, would you rather spend a hundred years praying to something that you believe in or a thousand years on your knees studying the religion of another belief that is true? Wait, say that again? Would you rather spend a hundred years on your feet praying and worshiping this God, right. or would you rather spend a thousand years on your knees reading and writing and memorizing everything that is to be of this actual God? Would you, so example, in the Bible, it tells you that after you pass away, you're going to spend a thousand years reading and writing all the texts of the, of the Bible. So that way, when the end comes, you're going to be one of the angels that comes down and has all these answers, right, to God's work. So according to God, we're going to spend a 100 years on this earth doing whatever we want to do. But as soon as we die, we have to spend a 1,000 years, according to this book. Where is this at? Oh, I don't know. Religion. It's, it's probably Catholic. Probably. Because Catholics are the only ones that believe in purgatory. That makes sense. That's not in the Protestant Reformation. There's just so many of these rules out there for religion. That's, the Catholic, like, that's Catholicism. God, dude. Like, doesn't it get old? Like, Don't you just want it to be simple? Like, Catholicism hey. believes in purgatory, where when you die, you go to this waiting place for the end times. When the rapture happens, then you go down to rapture. give answers. Yeah, that's when, what it yeah. is. Yep. When you go, you go down to earth to give answers to the people and bring mm-hmm. them up with you. Yep. The, during the Protestant Reformation, when Martin Luther King took the Bible and was like, "No, you don't need a you don't need a pope to go to get to God. You don't need a bishop. You just need to pray to him." During that time, that's when the whole there's no purgatory. It's just you go to heaven, you get in, or you get out. It's one of those sort of things. I just I would rather spend a hundred years Sorry, praying I did to something a, that I would believe course. in versus a thousand years being forced to yeah um, believe in something that I never heard of. At the end of the day, I think I'm open minded about it. Yeah. Like if if something was like, hey, this thing is right. Like if so, okay, yeah. if 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 I could have one hundred percent, you died, you'll figure well, it no, out. But right? if I had, if I had one hundred percent proof that like Buddhism no was the right way tomorrow, that's not faith. Then no, I know. Right. But I'm just saying, like, if I had that information, I would not be closed minded enough to be like, oh, that's not right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if if we like for Christianity, if God were to be like. What's up, bitches? I'd be like, oh hell yeah, let's do oh, this. Oh god, you, you know what I mean? Right all along, right? <laughs> but 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 I'm not so close minded to where if like if Buddhism was the correct, right? If they were, if it was actually true, right? I wouldn't be so close minded to b- blindly follow something that I know is wrong at this right. point because I have information to prove otherwise. It's hard. Which one's right? But you have to rely, rely on faith. Which is one of those things where it's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair, dude. This but, life is not fair. But life anyway, fair. Um, this has been fun. <laughs> it's been really good. Honestly, though... Uh, Wait, if, hold on. If I, I, I think he's wanting to say... Yeah. I, I want to just say this. Yeah. Tell me. Because for me, I'm not much of a reader, okay? Just Same. like what you just said, right? Mm. It's like I'm struggling trying to read the Bible, mm. okay? Mm. Is I have full faith in it, everything's like, but I still struggle with that kind of stuff, and I still have a lot of questions when it comes down to it. However, the difference is, and I'm not saying this in the sense of like, like, sma- <laughs> slap your s- slap your wrist or whatnot, right. but there's a difference between having questions and not seeking to have the answers outside of a book. Wait, what? Say that again? There's a difference between having questions and not mm-hmm. seeking them outside of a book. Because if I read the Bible yeah. and you read the same passage, sure. we're going to have two different perspectives. Mm-hmm. 
two different perspectives, two different ways that we're coming up with answers on it. Right. Why? Well, I, we can ask him, James, um, <laughs> what his perspective came up. But, to but be, think but... about it. You go, yeah, right. I'm, I, I'm out seeking I answers. Right. right. Okay? I'm... And I'm not saying I'm doing the right thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's like, but for me, I'm out trying to seek answers besides just right reading the Bible. Oh yeah. I'm reading the Bible. I'm going to church. I'm listening to it. I'm asking questions. I'm getting perspectives because everyone, at least at my church, okay, everyone's got their own perspective when it comes to it. That's the beauty of our church. We, have, everyone's got their own perspective when it comes to it. I'm gathering ideas from everybody when it comes to it because I want to understand this stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay? And it's also why there's so many de- denominations. Say what? It's also why there's so many denominations. Yeah. Because everybody believes a little bit different, and so they'll just go make their own church. Yeah. And follow that. My, which is why I think everybody's wrong. <laughs> well, and that's where and that's where you gotta figure out what you what you choose to believe. Exactly. What you believe in. If you're just gonna read the book the whole time, mm-hmm. You're never going to get your answers. Right. But if you have different perspectives when it comes to it, sure. that's why the Bible even says on there, ask questions. Right. Okay. And now, obviously, he says it a lot smarter. So than let me bring this back around. So um, you, have a, you have a transgender person who is trans, trans female, mm. and they believe 100% that they're a girl. Mm. They had the transition. They right. did the transition. They are, in their eyes, a girl. So therefore, they are a girl. Okay. To my God, they're welcome with the arms wide open. Well, I'm just saying, like, you're, you're using a different perspective thing. Right. And there's no passage in the Bible that says it's wrong. So but it's, every it's, church says it is. Right. So there's something wrong. There's something that's not adding up. Every church says it's wrong because it's not the way God intended it, and they use the whole Adam and Eve passage. Mm. But there's no actual evidence to, to say that it's wrong. There's nothing that says it's wrong. And so it's just like, oh, well, it's not Adam and Eve. So, like, the whole thing I was told in church growing up was it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Mm. That was just a funny little <laughs> yeah. thing. But, yeah, but right. so that I was always I told. That. But I was always told that. And I never was, like, I, I would always ask, like, well, why? Show me, show me where, like, why? And they would never be able to tell me because I can't. Mm. So there's something wrong. And it's just because they, they, they're stuck in this. Plus, well, I think it has to plus, do with procreation. Plus their belief. That's a, yeah. That's 100. a very sacred symbol. Of course. Right? Obviously. But also, so is marriage, and that's mm. a flawed agreement anymore because it's, for all, for, it's all for government it really purposes. The it. idea of marriage in a, okay, oh, a joke. Oh, God. We're actually going to go we're, here. We're going off a rabbit hole. <laughs> well, I, I would say fine. this. I will say this. Yeah, her. Let's all get our the, final the thoughts. The church that, that yeah. I quote-unquote yeah. grew up in said the same thing. When I go to the church I'm at now, they have no problem sit, sitting you aside and talking to you about it. Not preaching to you about it, not anything, yeah. but they'll legitimately go through the Bible and say, no, look, this is what it says. What's your question? Okay. And they will go through it. They'll have a conversation sure. with you, and they'll get your perspective when it comes to it. Yeah. That's what I love about well, where I'm at with it. And. If you're again, if you're not out seeking questions, okay, and I'm not talking about just going to one flipping church when it comes to it, go to multiple. Sure. Yeah. Get different perspectives from pastors who are willing to sit down with you and talk to you about it. Because sure. that, in all honesty, that's their job. Right. Because I don't care if you're tra- whatever you are. <laughs> let, let me just say that. Right, right, right. Because I'm just going to piss someone else off if that's the case. <laughs> whatever you are. If you have questions, go and ask. Right. But you have to you have to go in with an open mind. I think okay, and I think that's just like they they will. Right. I think that's what we have to do with them as well. We have to go I would with, agree. we have to go in with an open mind. We have to be open to the possibility that there can be today there can be relationships with someone that was born a certain way that's not what they are what they used to be. Mm. And you have to be open to that conversation. Whether you want to do it or not, that's still up to you. But I think we're stuck in a. I think we're an ever evolving, ever evolving society, and I think that the conversation we're having now, it'll it it will go from well, I wouldn't do that to why wouldn't you do that? They like they are who they are. 
All right, guys, that's all for this episode of the PM Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, or watch it here on YouTube. If you're watching it here on YouTube, make sure to like this video so we can keep bringing you fun so they'll give you content like this. Um, please come back next week because this is a very heavy and heated conversation as far as, like, getting into it, uh, which we've never done before. But, hey, this is the PM Podcast. We talk about real shit here. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.